Doug Maurice, Nathan Baird, Stephen Means after the Ohio State spring game here at Ohio Stadium. Hey, C.J. Stroud played. Jackson Smith and Jigba played. I think they connected for a touchdown, right? We've seen that before. Picked right up uh, where they left off in the Rose Bowl. Other offensive guys stood out as well, though. Stephen Means, you wrote about that after the game at Cleveland.com. Who would you really like? Yeah, this felt like watching an NFL preseason game where the starters are in there and then they're out before you can even blink. Uh, Travion Henderson played one series, so it left the day for a guy like Evan Pryor to be a star in this game. This was almost set up for him to do so. He had the 22-yard run where he broke off tackles from Ty Hamilton into Roger Mitchell. He had the, you know, the sideline catch that he had as well. This seemed like of the running backs, just because you know so much about Travion Henderson and Mayan Williams, we were going to learn a lot about Evan Pryor in a situation of, yes, Travion's the starter. He's one of the best running backs in the country. And right now, Mayan Williams is number two. But Evan Pryor could make a push to be that number two. We've been talking about that all along, but he's got some of that home run hitter ability too that we saw with Travion Henderson. So star of the day, let's see if he can push Mayan for that number two running back spot in the fall. Overreactions on social media to that. A lot of people fired up about Evan Pryor, as usual. Love the overreactions in the spring, but that guy's good. I think that did matter. And Ryan Day kind of said after the spring game, hey, if he holds on to the ball, he's going to make an impact on this offense in the fall. So Trevon Henderson's the starter. They need a second running back who they can play and rely on so they don't grind Trevion Henderson into the ground over the course of a 12-game regular season. Nathan Baird, who's an offensive guy you liked? One of the storylines of this spring was who else is emerging at tight end, or well, I guess even to the point is Kate Stover tight end. Once they decided that, again, they had to find that second person. Joe Royer today goes up and makes a nice catch in the end zone for a touchdown, got away from a cornerback, a young corner, Jair Brown in coverage, took some contact there. It's just a quick flash. It's just a spring game, and it's not even the most important thing he's going to do, obviously. They need tight ends who can block. They are crucial to this run game. But I think if they had come out of today with no positive – moments for the tight end group that would have been something that lingered into the offseason uh, I think they're becoming more optimistic about the second and third guys potentially in that room G Scott had some catches today too they've got to find a way to keep those guys involved but those guys also more importantly have to step up and be reliable in pass protection and going out and leading the the, the rushing attack Ryan Day after the game said he thought tight ends could be a strength of this team in the fall. We had a lot of gnashing of teeth this spring about are they going to be at tie, uh, okay at tight end. You know how I knew Ryan Day said that after the game? I didn't even go to the post-game news conference. I was hanging out outside seeing if I could see anything. I knew that because these guys were texting about it. I read a text. So oh, Ryan Day talking up the tight ends. You can read those texts, 614-350-3315. It's a two-week free trial. Yeah, the offseason's here, but guess what? We still write and think and talk about Ohio State football. We text about it, too. Hope we see you on the texts. For now, thanks for watching at Cleveland.com.